YouTube, we back. We back with an early review. Um, as you can see, as you can tell, we're not in the stock room today. Got these shoes today and I wanted to bring them to you uh, as soon as possible. I wanted to get them out as early as possible because it is an early look. These shoes don't uh, drop until May 4th. So I wanted to go ahead and get this early review out for you, just on foot. And um, tell me what you think about these. Now for me, this is a special drop. As you can see by the thumbnail and you saw the intro of the video, this is a very special shoe for me because I never had this shoe growing up. In 1989, I had the Fire Reds like twice, and I had the cement, white cements, but I never had the uh, the bread or the black cements, and I never had the military blues. So for me, this is a super special shoe, and I'm glad that they brought it back in its OG specs. This is the first time we've seen it since 1989 in its true OG form with the Nike here on the back. So I'm super excited, you know, to have this shoe and to bring you this review early. So uh, without further ado. Let's get into the review. All right, so let's start off with the box. Of course, you got your classic Jordan 4 box with your red Jordan Jumpman on the top of the lid. Got your iconic flight underneath. Got your Nike Air brand in there on the side of the box. The other Nike Air brand in there. And got your Jumpman with the flight on the right upper side at the bottom of the box. Nike branding and more Nike branding on the bottom of the box as well. So, size and tag. So it reads Air Jordan 4, off-white, military, blue. And it's funny, they're calling these industrial blue on sneakers, but here it's actually labeled military blue, like it's supposed to be. And so, I don't know, size 10 and a half, personal pair. Flip the lid, got your red inside of the top box lid. Put the shoes to the side. You'll get a, a thin a piece of thin paper followed by the cement print paper. Red inside of the box. There's no green or quality control stamps, but you do have your box dimensions there at the top of the box. So And here's the shoe, 2024 Air Jordan 4 Military Blue in all its OG specs. Fire. Now let's get right into it. So let's start with the bottom of the sole. On the outsole, you have your Military Blue hits. You got your off-white, your gray hits around the top with your stars. Gray hits on the back of the heel with your white Nike. Middle of the Military Blue. Um, uh, pod right here. Move to the midsole of the shoe. You got that off-white midsole with your air bubble, followed by military blue hits on top of that. And you have your nice, uh, uh, I would say, new buck gray toe cap going all the way around to the middle of the shoe. Fire. Cool, you move to the upper, you got that off-white leather. And I will say the leather on this, uh, it's, it's not great, you know. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care about that. I'm just happy that they brung these back because I never owned a pair and they brung it back in its true OG form. I'm just happy about that. I don't really care about the leather. Shoes gonna get rocked regardless. So um, yeah, just to let you know out there, if you're wondering about the leather quality, it's nothing like the bread cement um, that they brought back out, the reimagines. No, it's just regular, you know, plain leather. Uh, you got your, your wings here on the side of the shoe with your military blue. I would say these waffles, I call them waffles on top, military blue waffles. Move to the back of the shoe, you got your Nike Air on that <clears throat> booty. This is what we needed. This is what the people wanted. Thank you, Jordan Brand, for listening to us and making this happen. So dope. Military blue heel tab with your Nike Air on the back and that off-white. You got Air Jordan upside down in the back of the tongue with your head of military blue. 
And if you notice how the tongue looks here, if you look at the tongue from this angle, you can't really see the blue behind it. So that's true to the OG specs. Uh, if we look at the, the front of the tongue, you have that military blue jump man with the black flight underneath. So dope, this is the only shoe that came out with the flight underneath the jump man. And that's, and that's part of what makes the four iconic in my humble opinion. Uh, you got your cage. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, didn't even mention the cage. So you got your Cajun on the side and that off-white and with the military blue behind it. Same as you move to the front of the toe box. Cage, military blue behind it going up and down the tongue. The whole tongue is a cage. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's the shoe. You know, lateral side, same. Military blue, gray, white. Wings, military blue waffles on top. So dope, man. Fire shoe, fire. Cool, and with the left shoe, you do get an OG hang tag on the left shoe, which is another plus as well. All right, cool. So that's the review, you know, a quick review, you know, of the Jordan 4 military blue. I'm gonna jump back in front of the camera, give you my thoughts, and then hit you with that on feet. So that was the review of the Jordan 4 military blue. And uh, man, I'm so happy that they decided, I know I keep saying it, but I'm, I'm so happy that they decided to bring this back in its true OG form. Man, this is a shoe that I've been waiting on for years, man. You could say since 1989. So uh, I can't wait to put these right to feet. I'm definitely gonna wear these. I'm definitely gonna go for a double up when they release. Now they don't release until May 4th. That's the release date. Uh, Apparently the rumor is that there's going to be uh, plenty of pairs available out there. So uh, apparently they made 1.3 million. So if you're going to go for these on May 4th, I think you should have a, a good shot. If you do your due diligence, do your footwork, you know, make sure you put in your raffles, things of that nature. I'm sure you, you won't have a problem at least securing one of your personal pairs. So for me, I definitely need to double up because I, I plan to wear these you know, to the ground uh, if I can. And I want to have a backup pair just to have a fresh pair to throw on, you know, when it's time, because, you know, I, I, I'm trying to think of the reason why I never really had these back in the day. Only thing I can attribute to is I wasn't really into blue back in the day. My thing was, uh, I mean, still to this day, my favorite color is red. So I was mainly, you know, red, black, and white. I always rock with the bulls and I went with their colors or, you know, Raiders, of course I'm a Raiders fan. So black, silver, and white. Uh, my colors, I never really was fond of the color blue as much. So, you know, maybe that was the reason, and, you know, I just didn't get them. But as I got older, you know, start, you know, experiencing different colorways and, you know, different models, things of that nature. You know, these are, these really sat on me that I, I didn't really cop them when I was younger and wasn't able to get them. But I'm glad I was able to get them now. So it's such a clean shoe. I mean, man, you could rock these with anything. I would say jeans, shorts, jean shorts. Um, uh, khakis, I mean, they're versatile. You know, and the Jordan 4s was popping right now. Now I will say, the uh, shape on this, uh, this year's Jordan 4 Military Blue, I will say it's definitely the shape of the Reimagine 4s. So they definitely kept their word where they were gonna start making all the 4s, you know, uh, mirror the, the Reimagine 4s and the SBs. So I expect the same comfort level on these as I had with the uh, Reimagine 4s. So, Super comfortable shoe, mad comfortable. So that's one reason why I'm gonna definitely be wearing my fours um, on this trip. But you know, it's funny because people say fours are one of the most uncomfortable Jordans. For me, I never had a problem with fours. I don't know if it's the way my foot shape or what it is, I never had a problem. So, and now that they reimagined them and made them more comfortable, uh, it's only a plus for me. So yeah, so let me, uh, you know, I didn't wanna keep it too long. I just wanna bring this to you early so you can get a good look at it and help Hopefully this video will help you decide if you're looking to grab a pair, um, if you're looking to double up, you know, whatever. You know, with that being said, let me go ahead and hit you with this on foot. You know, I appreciate the support. If you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching, like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna bring more reviews to you, more early looks if I can get my hands on them. So stay tuned. With that being said, let's hop into this on foot, into the next cop. I'm out. Steps on fresh, they call me Manny. Plus the crossover so cold, it come in handy. 
Every day I shoot a movie, call me Stanley. Can't walk a mile off in my shoes if you can't stand me. So exclusive, this only for friends and family. We up on sneaks and they so geek, we high on fashion. What, what, what's up, what's up, what's happening? I'm extra fresh out the package, shipping and handling. Like with 4D, I'm an OG like Jordan 03, yeah. yeah. It's getting OC, the fashion on me, they tryna clone me, yeah. yeah. Shot the DE for the 3P, I'm like Kobe, yeah. yeah. The passion feed me, yeah. yeah. I know you see me, yeah. Gone one. I'm so white, this world, they say I'm gone, gone. About to eat the game up like a one time. Done, done. Done, done. I'm done one. Done one. I'm so white, this world, they say I'm gone, gone. About to eat the game up like a one time. Done, done. Done, done. done, done.